Hey guys, so today I'm doing this Aurora inspired makeup look. I have a costume event tomorrow night which I'm really really excited about. It's going to be so much fun. I definitely think you could change up the colours and dress this look or makeup look up for like Belle or Snow White um, or any of the other princesses. So I'm going to get started, show you guys how I got this look. Uh, I hope you enjoy. So as you can see, I've started out with my base, my eyebrows, and I've put a little bit of uh, lip gloss on to hydrate my lips. So now I'm going to go in with my Essence I Love Stage Eyeshadow Base. I love this stuff. It just gets the job done. Now I'm going to set that with my powder. So I do know I want to use my Naked 3 palette for this tutorial, uh, but I also might use the pink in my little Napoleon Mums the Word palette. And I do want to use a glitter to enhance the eye look. So I'll be using a glitter as well, but I haven't decided which one yet. So first off, I'm going to take the color Limit, that one there. This color I'm going to run across my whole lid. Now going into Napoleon's Mum's The Word palette. And this is going to go in the outer corner and up into the crease. Also going to take that color just under the uh, lower lash line. Just blending that color out further. I look so angry with these eyebrows. But once I powder my face, it will look better, trust me. I'm going to use the color Buzz. Using my finger, I'm just popping this into the outer corner for some more definition. And also to add a little bit of sparkle to the eye because it's quite matte with that blush shade. Also again, popping that just under the outer corner. On the lash line, the lower lash line. Alright, so I definitely want some glitter. So I'm going to use this base first. This is from Daiso and it just looks like that. And it's a glittery, chunky, like, thing. It's like the least product to like for its purpose, but it works as a really good base for uh, glitter. Even if you want to use it by itself, it's beautiful, although it is tacky and by itself, I feel like it would probably crease. <laughs> I bought this one quite a while ago. It's the Napoleon Purtis Loose Eye Dust in Disco Glitter, and it is gorgeous. I think I have used this previously in a video as well, and it's beautiful. I would normally take a brush, but I'm just going to take my finger for this. So I can get precise glitter placing. I'm going to add a bit more of a darker color. I'm going to go with Liar, that color there, and see how that goes. Now I'm going to use my e.l.f. Uh, liquid eyeliner. I'm going to do mascara now. I'm going to take my Great Lash by Maybelline. I'm also going to coat the lower lashes. And this is just going to open up the eyes. I think false lashes would look awesome with this uh, look, but I don't have a lot of falsies left, so I'm trying to save them for very special occasions, and I won't be doing this actual oh makeup. Oh, bloody computer. I am actually saving my false lashes for tomorrow night, the ones I'm gonna use anyway. Um, but I think false lashes would look really nice with this look if you wanted to do them, so, or apply them, whatever. To really open up my eye, I'm gonna use a really sparkly white for my inner corner highlight. And this is, uh, I'm not sure what this is. It's 
Opal by Makeup by DB. Makeup by Designer Brands. I think. Go to the inner corners. And underneath the brow. I also think this would look really cool with like a nude pencil on my lower waterline. Um, but I kind of poked myself in the eye with my mascara before, so I don't want to make my eyes water even more. But yeah, that's that's included in the things that could make this look better, but I'm not actually going to do them right now. I think white would definitely make your eyes look more animated if you're going for the more traditional Aurora animated look. Uh, but I'm just leaving it like this. And uh, now that's the eyes done. I'm going to powder my face and move on to doing blush and uh, everything else, basically. So I'll be back. For bronzer, I'm taking my Too Faced Everything Nice palette. I got this at Christmas and I love it. I don't get it out a lot though because it's such a huge palette. Like it's very chunky and it's actually quite heavy. But it has beautiful shades in here. Look. Let me know if you want a look using this palette. I think that would be pretty cool. Uh, but I am going to take the Chocolate Soleil, which is the bronzer in the palette. So I'm basically going to use this to bronze my face. Oh, and it smells so good. Every time I get out any of my Too Faced chocolate products, I always start craving chocolate. I'm just like, I need chocolate right now. I'm also going to bring that down the sides of my nose. I'm sorry if you can hear background noises, my family just got home. As a contour, I'm taking my Napoleon Purtis Color Disc in the color Trench Coat. And this is a well-loved product for contouring. And as you can see, it's like a gray. Now, because I forgot to set my brows before, I'm going to do that now using my Savvy by DB Clear Brow Gel. So for blush, I'm going back into my Too Faced Everything Nice palette again because it has a beautiful, beautiful blush in there. Actually, it has three. So I'm going to use this blush here. I do want that on the apples of my cheeks as well, not just beside them. I'm not quite sure what this area is called, but I do want them just here as well. And then for highlight, I'm taking Inner Light, which is this like really sparkly. It's kind of like a gold bronzy peach. It's very hard to explain, but it's a beautiful color. So I'm going to use this to highlight the tops of my cheeks. I don't have my fan brush on me. I don't know where it's gone. I'm gonna try my stipple brush instead. Like it's pretty, but it's not quite enough for me. So I'm gonna take my Astralis AC on Tour palette and I'm going to take the highlighting shade, wait, wrong one, that one in this palette. Well, there's a lot of fallout. Just pop that over the top. Then for that cute little princess button nose, I'm going to put some on the very tip of my nose. And down the bridge, just between my eyes here. The lip pencil of choice is the Wish Me A Rose by Essence lip pencil and this is a beautiful pink. I might actually just take my lip gloss off. And then optional, but I'm going to use some of my Velour Lips Matte Lip Cream in the color Ho Chi Min, I think it is. It's this beautiful pink here. I'll put that in the center. And then to finish it off, taking my favorite, favorite lip gloss of the moment. And this is the Australis Color Inject Mineral Lip Gloss in the color Disco. And it is a beautiful Barbie pink. It's so gorgeous. And it smells so good. It's so sweet, I love it. <laughs> and then to completely finish it off, I'm going to put some highlight on my Cupid's bow.
So that is the completed look, as I said, and it goes really well with the crown and I think it will go well with the costume. I'll uh, definitely have to see you tomorrow night. So I hope you have enjoyed and if you did, please give this video a big thumbs up. If you have any questions, you can ask me in the comments down below and uh, thanks for watching. Bye.